Hey guys, I have a little helper with me today. So we are going to film my empties video and I'm going to try and not get licked in the face too many times by this dog. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so I, I have been moving stuff around in my beauty room and so I switched up my empties bin. So now I have one of these giant little like drawer things. So I'm just going to grab and go. This situation has been accumulating for a while and it's a little bit embarrassing. So here is what we have in my empties bin. So the first item are these two shampoos by Living Proof. This is the Perfect Hair Day Shampoo and Conditioner. And I have really greasy hair. Majority of the population does after a few days of washing your hair, it gets really greasy. So I was doing some research on the internet, which is where I get all my beauty suggestions. Just kidding. But yeah, I was doing research on good shampoo for really oily hair and this came up and this is very expensive shampoo and conditioner. I don't know if Jennifer Aniston owns this line or if she's like the spokesperson, but I believe each of these bottles is like a 20 to $25. So I found this brand at Alta and I believe they are sold at Sephora as well. And I decided to try it out and initially it did work. The only problem with my hair is I feel like my hair gets really used to my shampoo and conditioner. So now what I do is I switch so I go back and forth between two different kinds so my hair doesn't get super used to it. And I really don't like to wash my hair every single day. I like to go a couple of days, two to three to four days um, in between each wash just so that my hair isn't constantly being stripped. So yeah, I think this is good, but I would repurchase this and... I don't know. It's like if you are really going to try and fix your hair and you're worried about it being too greasy, this might work for you, but I don't feel like you need to like stop this video and go out there and run and try this. So hopefully that's a helpful opinion. I don't think I'll be repurchasing these anytime soon and I'm glad I finally used them up so I can get them out of my collection. Okay guys, so I'm not really a huge empties video watcher, but I thought I should film these for you. So let me know if you guys like to see like skincare and stuff, but these are some of the masks I've used up in the last couple of months. You guys know I love these Sephora foot masks. I have really dry feet, so I do try to use them quite often, especially when I'm in between manicures and pedicures to keep my feet hydrated and I also recently did a video on my face mask collection and if you saw that video you saw that I have a ton of sheet masks so I've been trying to make some real progress and be mindful about using these up. I also have these earth therapeutic hydro under eye gel patches that I've tried to use up so thumbs up for that. Okay, so this again is another kind of boring empties, but I really do like these Neutrogena makeup wipes. They are my favorite ones from the drugstore. I've tried a few different ones that they make as well as a few other brands, but I just feel like for cost and stuff, these are very, very effective. I am also using the e.l.f. ones. These aren't their makeup removing wipes. This is like a post-workout cleansing body wipe, but I've been using those for swatches, but usually my go-to is Neutrogena, and if you guys have a Costco near you, you can actually get like a bulk of these, which I really like as well, because you're saving money. Okay, so here is another item I completely finished up. This took forever to get through. This is a Fresh Soy Face Cleanse for all skin types, and this is a five fluid ounce product. I do like this face wash, because it's very gentle on my skin, and uh, I had no problems. I used to use this at night because I keep this in the shower. And that's usually when I wash. And that's when I usually use this. Otherwise, I have a different one on the sink when I wash my face in the morning. But this is the one I was using for nighttime. And I really like this. I don't want to repurchase this because I know Fresh is not cruelty free. But I just feel like there are a lot of cleansers out there that aren't very harming to your skin. Um, but if you are okay with something that's not cruelty free, you can definitely check out Fresh. Um, but I'm, I'm not really interested to purchase from them. I'm not completely cruelty free, but if I know it's not cruelty free, I don't want to bring that back into my collection unless it's a product I really, really am crazy about. But I found a lot of great other face washes that are cruelty free, so I won't be buying that one again. 
Another item I am decluttering, I guess you could say, of this I am throwing out because it did dry up. This is the Inlight Super Face Clay Time Purifying Deep Cleansing Treatment Mask. This is dried up. Again, this was in my face mask collection video and I opened it up and I was like, oh my gosh, it's dry as the desert basically. But this is a really decent dupe to the Glam Glow Super Mod Mask. Obviously, this is a drugstore brand, so it is not even close to as expensive as the Super Mod Mask by Glam Glow. And I'm really glad I got to try this. It is very, very strong though, so you want to be careful. It will really dry out your face and stuff like that. But that's usually what happens when it's like a clay charcoal type mask. Um, but I really like it. I think it's a good dupe for Glam Glow. Um, but I, I don't need to pick one up right now from them. So I'm just going to throw that one out and repurchase if I find it necessary. Right now I'm good. My skin is behaving. So I don't think I need another purifying mask at this time. Plus I still have a bunch of other masks I need to use up. Okay, some other skincare that I'm really excited I used up. This is the Seaweed Clarifying Toner by the brand The Body Shop. I actually really like Body Shop's toners. I exclusively buy toner from The Body Shop. I do have a fresh one I'm trying to use up. I've talked about that in multiple videos, but on a daily basis, I'm using The Body Shop ones, and you can always pretty much get these on sale, like a buy one, get one, or like a buy two type deal. So I really, really like to purchase these, and yeah, they're really good. This one is my favorite one, the Clarifying Toner. And then this other item that I recently finished up, as you can see, it's pretty dirty from the shower, is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. And a lot of people really like Glossier as a brand. I wouldn't say they're my, like, absolute favorite. I feel like their products are, like, a little bit overpriced for what they are. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. This one you can use on dry skin or damp skin. Um, so you can use it as, like, a makeup melter. I've recently been trying the Makeup Removing Oil by Pacifica, and I think that one's pretty good, especially because it's not as pricey as this one, and you can only get Glossier online on their website, so I don't know. I don't think I'll go back to this, but I'm glad I used it up because it did take me quite a while to use that up as well. Okay, so here's something that's pretty exciting. I am going to consider this used up, and this is my Kat Von D contour palette and I've had this one for way too long. I've pretty much hit pan on all of the shades. This one's a little too light for me. I keep trying to convince myself to like keep this and use it but I feel like it's definitely gotten quite old and I've already found a replacement for this so I'm good. I'm just gonna let it go. I'm just gonna toss it and be done but this is a really really freaking good contouring palette so if you are in the market for a good powder contour, I would recommend Kat Von D's Shade and Light Contour Palette. So, really good one, really good quality. And now you can buy just the refill pans, so you don't even have to buy the whole palette if you don't want to. I really like these cotton rounds. I feel like these are really good dupes to the Shiseido ones, and I got these ones at Walmart. I really like these because they were lint-free, so they didn't leave like lint all over my face, which is cool. And you get 300 of them in here, so I thought that was really cool. I found these at Walmart, so if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend $10 on 160 something cotton rounds, Check out this brand from Walmart. This is not sponsored by Cotton Round Company, just so you guys know. Okay, so let's see here. I got more things I want to declutter. I got some Ardell Wispies. I love the Ardell Lashes. I've heard mixed reviews from people. Some people love the Ardell Lashes. Some people think they're crap. I personally really like them, and I love that they're affordable. I cannot wrap my brain around spending $20 on a pair of lashes. I know some people take really good care of them and wear them multiple times, but I just, I just can't. That's like half the price of an eyeshadow palette, and it just blows my mind that people pay that kind of money. So that's my spiel on that. This is a very old product, and I finally managed to fill, finish this up. This is the Sexy Hair Soya Want It All to, uh, 22 in 1 Soy Cocoa and Argan Oil Leave-In Treatment. If you guys have damaged hair, this product is going to save your hair's life. I went through a few periods back in the day where I had bleached my hair multiple times and my hair was very, very damaged and dry. And this 
freaking recommendation from one of my hairstylists. Saved it. It's totally worth it. This will like bring your hair back to life. It'll feel so healthy and soft. I would 100%, 100% recommend this if you've really, really damaged your hair and you're looking for something to revive it. And I am not a big advocate for hair products because I just don't have a lot of like hair stuff that I try. When it comes to makeup, I can give you recommendations all day, but when it comes to hair, I'm like dry shampoo, maybe like a heat protecting spray. That's about it for me. But that stuff's really good. So I would recommend it. The next thing I used up, always exciting when you use up a face moisturizer. This is the Belief True Aqua Balm. Super good. I need more hydration than this in the winter time. But I'm glad I finished this up and I would 100% recommend it to any of you that live in a warmer place than I do and still need some hydration. I think this is great. They also have a True Aqua Cream, I believe, or a True Cream version of this that is a little bit more hydrating as well. I personally really like this brand. Right now though, I'm really into face oils. So I've been using like the Sunday Riley Juno oil, the Luna oil, and the Flora oil. That's what I use with the winter here in Fargo. You can kind of see all the snow. It's that little white sliver between my Louis Vuitton box and my makeup sign. That's all snow that's in our backyard right now. So it is definitely cold in here, guys. No surprises. Another thing I did use up, as you can see, this was in one of my like project skincare pan situations. This is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream for normal to dry skin. This was in my influencer box that I got and I thought it was really good but honestly I wouldn't go out and buy this myself. It reminds me a lot of the other, the Belief Balm. They're very similar. They're both Korean skincare brands. This one is nice and weighted and I mean it's beautiful packaging. But again, I'm so much happier with my face oils because I just need more and more hydration, especially in the winter time right now. Here is a little sample of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. I actually thought this was pretty good, but I really don't want to support It Cosmetics. And I have a bunch of eye creams already, so I'm glad I used this up, but I will not be purchasing this in a full size. This is my favorite, favorite top coat. It's the Essie. This is their gel top coat, but I even use this over regular nail polish. It is very fast drying, and it's pretty affordable. So I really, really like this stuff, and uh, even though I have one chip nail, the rest of them are doing pretty good, and I think it's because I have this top coat on, and I really like it. It dries so fast. It's one of the best top coats I've used in my life. <laughs> this is a little Scandinavia makeup primer spray. I really don't like any of these priming sprays I got from Scandinavia. The other two, the full sizes, I'm trying to use up in my project pan. And I, of course, try to use this up as quickly as I could as well. I will not repurchase any kind of spray from them. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that little empty that I have. I'm also going to go ahead and declutter this. This is not actually empty. But I bought this. This is the Prep and Hydrate Balm by the brand e.l.f. And this seemed like such a good idea in theory, but it's just like a sticky mess. Like, I don't really feel like it hydrates anything. Maybe you'd want to use this as a primer. I personally just don't want to hold on to it just for the sake of having it. So I was pretty disappointed with this product. I also saw Scent Ives now has a stick like face wash and I was really tempted to buy it but I'm like trying to do the thing where I only buy what I need and right now I don't need to be trying more skincare so I'm going to pass on that as well. But yeah, I didn't like that bomb. It wasn't very good. This is the ColourPop Rose Quartz Crystal Priming Spray. I actually don't think this product is bad, but their sprayers on these, oh god, I didn't realize there was still some left in here. Do you see that spray? It is just like all over the place. Oh my gosh, I just sprayed some on my dog. I don't think he's very happy about it. But these sprayers suck, so I had to go on Amazon and buy a different spray bottle. Hi, Titty. Sorry, I gave you a bath. Um... So I had to go on Amazon and buy new bottles to put these in because the sprayers on these sucked, which was making me not like the product. But now that I have it in a different sprayer, it works really freaking well. 
which makes me a happy camper. Okay guys, so the last few things I wanna get rid of or used up are some eye stuff. So I used up this Ink Liner Eyeliner Liquid Matte by Makeup Forever. This is my favorite liquid liner. I already bought a replacement, which is what I'm wearing on my eyeballs, but I really like this. This is matte and it lasts forever, so it's a good one if you guys are in the market for a liquid liner. This is my favorite mascara by L'Oreal. This is the Voluminous Carbon Black. Super, super good. I love this brush, but again, I use this up, so I am tossing it. This is one of my favorite eyeliners from L'Oreal. I actually have two that I've used up here. So this is the Voluminous Superstar. I think they sell, still sell this, and it's awesome, and it's drugstore. I also have this one by Lottie London, which is basically the same shape and size as the L'Oreal one. And I just bought a bunch of Lottie London ones to replace the one I used up. And then I also have the Punker by Ardency Inn. Ardency Inn used to be available on Sephora.com, but they stopped selling it, so I will not be repurchasing. But you guys, as you can see, I'm a huge fan of eyeliner liquid liner or like felt tip liners because that's how I do my wing liner. I can't use gel liners so I really like using felt pens like this. Okay and then the last item I used up is the Colossal Big Shot Tinted Primer by Maybelline. This was a really bad buy on my part. I just saw the packaging and I was like drawn to it like a little uh, magpie <laughs> and is it a magpie? I don't know. Anyway, it was drawn to it. I swear this is probably still full and somebody could use it, but I really need to stop buying things like I like eyelash primers. Like, when did I become the person that needed an eyelash primer? I don't know. So, tossing that. I've got this guy. This is a Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in the shade Silicon Turquoise. I don't really like wearing colorful highlighter, so I'm just going to go ahead and toss this. I got this for free from Influencer again, and uh, yeah, just not a huge fan of this type of color. I usually like to stick to black in my waterline, or I'll just put some eyeshadow down there, so not a huge fan, and I am going to go ahead and toss this out. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this empties video. I'm sorry if it was a little bit all over the place. I feel like empties are kind of a snooze fest for me because it's like, oh, here's this product I use up, and I don't feel like I go through my products as fast as some people do. It blows my mind sometimes when I see like how many like, face washes and all the stuff that people go through, but if you do like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up just so I know like maybe I should like keep collecting my empties so I can do these videos every once in a while when I have a good amount of empties that I want to show you guys. Or let me know if you guys aren't really interested in empties either and uh, we can work something out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.